Well, I think really what is happening is that both in the U.S. and Europe, people are becoming much more serious about international problems, partly because our international problems are getting more serious. So in the U.S., certainly people are thinking much more now about Russia, much more about the Ukraine, and much more about the place of Europe in American foreign policy and in the American economy. And I think in Europe, too, people are, as you say, asking questions about the United States. I think one key is that we all need to think much harder about how do we make the alliance work. Um, you know, many people in Italy are worried, for example, because the combination of sanctions on Russia and then the, the economic uh, recession in Russia has really hit the market for Italian exports and, in fact, tourism at a time when Italy needs all the economic help it can get. I think the rest of the alliance does need to begin to think how can we adopt policies maybe of aiding Ukraine that can help to replace the lost Ukrainian Russian market with a greater market for Italy and for other hard-hit countries, or how perhaps some of the economic costs of sanctions on Italy could be used to get a little bit more um, uh, laxity on the uh, EU budget requirements. Maybe there are ways to make the alliance more collaborative and more useful.